Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. It is yet another new morning and I'm still where I left off last episode. As you may remember we helped Count Beladal to go on a photo safari and he did invite us to join his picnic. However, as it turns out, that picnic is actually way over here, I think in this little location. So I guess I will do this another time. Instead I would like to stay in this region. We have unexplored territory over here. We have two notice boards and another quest, the wine wars. Also um, the feline cat gear is somewhere in this area. So yeah, I would like to finish um, exploring this um, area of the map before I continue with the main quest. So I will head out and explore and you know the deal, I will bring you back whenever I find something of interest. Um, and this over here looks pretty interesting. I mean it could be another vineyard looking at the structure, but I suppose we will find out. All right. <coughs> well apparently we do have some wild horses here. Um, I think a while ago someone told me I can use Axie on a wild horse and then I can actually ride it. Yes, I can. Ah, look at that. I have Move a new it. horse. Not that I need it, but um, it's good to know. He Come still on. looks like he's um, actually having a saddle and, you know. <laughs> anyway, I think <coughs> I'll just let the horse run free again. But yeah, this over here is the place that I saw on my map, I believe. Yes. It could be. Um, well, whatever it is, it is haunted. Okay, well, let's see if I can deal with these rays. I need to be careful, there are a few levels above my own level. Okay, let me put down an Irden. Ooh, my armor is in need of repair. That never really happened to me because I usually repaired them at an armor smith early enough. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to take care of that. All right, um, let me take care of my armor first. There we go. That should do for now. Um, somehow I think. There will be more of Wraith, huh? Let's see. How do I get in here? Can Damn. I just... Something seriously wrong here. Uh-huh, yeah. So I noticed. And yeah, it is a vineyard. But apparently it's abandoned. Okay. Let's see if I find more... race to kill. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! What the hell? A Spriggan! This is... This seems like um, a Lashen. And if it is, then it's probably weak to fire. Alright. It uses a similar strategy, like a lesson anyway. Aha, uh -huh, a new entry. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, here we are. Area liberated. And... Yeah, um, they drop lesser raisins, so... They must be a cousin of the lesion. Let me have a look at that. Yep. And they're weak to Igni, so my intuition was right about them. Okay, let me look around this place and see if I can find something of interest. And if not, I'm just going to move on and continue my explorations. Top of the tops to you. Geralt of Rifia. May a bow we are your bleating last. Well, we have some dead people here. Yeah? Charlotte's diary. I'm not sure if this is important for me. It doesn't seem to give me a quest, but um maybe it will be useful later. Okay, apparently there's another quest over here. Stay with me a bit longer, Lady Daphne. Who are you? Always chat with them before you chop them down. Fee, fi, fo, fum, a bleating jester has come. I'll set my hound on you, you bum rag. <laughs> Whoa there. Just curious why you were talking to a tree. But all in all, not my concern. Well? Wait. Hold now. My dent is up true, for scoundrels come and laugh at me. But you, you're... Uh, well, just what the demon are you? A witcher. Name's Geralt. So, folk laugh at you because... Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... you could lift the curse. Okay, so apparently you do believe in that tale, huh? Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. Okay, um, tell me about that tale. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne Gareth and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. I meant it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Well, I don't know. I've heard weirder tales in this game, so why not? Um, and apparently you do like fairy tales. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud, Pie. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, Think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Okay, well, let's see if there's any merit to that tale, and let's examine the tree. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now!
I mean, the trunk does vaguely look like the body of a woman, so maybe that's a sign. Where I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Yes, definitely. Actually, does bleed. Looks like human blood too, and the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Okay, okay. So apparently there is a curse or whatever. Blood seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. Hmm. What can I find? There's another tree over here. Logger was making good time. Strange, though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. Okay. So, um, yeah, you may be right about your theory. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? Hmm. Okay, um, I will help you with that problem for a fee. My help doesn't come free, you know. You speak to a lowly woodcutter. No stench of coin about me. Well, you're probably right about that. Let's just keep it at that level. Agreed. I will pay as soon as the young mate is free. Okay, I will look into it. Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief hmm. in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig? Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Okay, so the curse will be lifted once her knight returns, which is unlikely to happen. But maybe we can find another way to do it. Um, how would I do this? Okay, it's over here. Um, but I think I will make a detour and check out the settlement first, check out the notice board, and then we will continue with this quest. So, I will, I will help you tree lady, but um, it will have to wait a while longer. So let's have a look at this little town, or whatever it is. It may not actually be a town, it's just a very big vineyard, apparently. Okay, where do I enter? There must be a way to get inside here. Ah, apparently there is a small village attached to it. Okay, let's have a look at the notice board. Um, well, apparently the notice board is inside the vineyard. So I still need to find a place to get inside. Okay, Lamont, I can. You can't can get inside here. Over on me, Witcher. I can see your well, you're right about that, but um, I only kill for good reason, I think. Okay, let's have a look at this. I tell fairy tales. 
For a modest fee, I'll visit your home and tell a story about anything you request. I know how to amuse children, but I can also spin yarns to entertain adults. Invite me and you shall see listening to a good story can make your life's hardships easier to bear. Arcadius. Okay. Wine or poison? A friend of mine had some wine from the Coronada vineyard. Afterward, his stomach ached for a whole day and he puked like some rainbow spurting fountain. An inevitable questions got to be posed. Should Coronata wine bottles be labeled wine or poison which will make you die a slow and painful death? A concerned friend. I don't know, maybe he just got a bad bottle. Organizing an expedition. Anyone who desires glory and fame is invited to join me at the Grand Palace on the 17th of the current month. I plan to set out good company, in good company and in search of adventure. We are sure to encounter many damsels in distress and have ample opportunity to help the oppressed. Turmont de Briade. Well, uh, good luck to you. Beware of monsters. Monsters known as Barges have been spotted near the cemetery. All vineyard workers are thus advised to depart for home before dusk, preferably in groups. It is also recommended they choose routes that bypass the cemetery. Failure to adhere to these safety precautions could lead to serious consequences, including but not limited to mental trauma, crippling injury and being torn apart and devoured. Yep, that is actually good advice. Warning, it is well known that scallywags at Coronata have been underpricing their plong for years, leading to the bankruptcy of many a small vineyard. But how they're truly gone to botching far, they've brought buckets of vine-devouring caterpillars to Vermentino. You'll get your comeuppance, rat dealers. What's with all the Coronada hatred in here? Cautious knight errant, virtuous mm. knight errant, I respect you as much as anyone in Toussaint, but please stop attacking windmills. <laughs> they haven't wronged you in any way, and because of your shenanigans, our maintenance expenses have increased many times over. I warn you, if you don't stop attacking windmills, I will be forced to lodge an official complaint with Her Illustrious Highness. Sincerely, Antoine Lys. Uh, apparently some of the knight errants read a bit too much, huh? All right. Um, I didn't get any quests from this, although I did get um, <coughs> some new locations, I guess. Um, we have a herbalist over here, and I mean, one of my side quests was—I don't know if it was this vineyard. No, it's actually the one over here. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to um, visit the herbalist. And then I will continue in my quest to help the lady in the tree. And maybe I can find some other stuff here. This is a very, very uh, fancy building though. I like this cool place. Blimey. Okay, here we are. An herb store. Welcome, wanderer. In need of herbs, perhaps? Wart for a sore stomach, or...? Prefer willow bark or iris root for stomach aches. Wart can cause dizziness, <laughs> nausea. Forgive me. It's just that you do not have the look of one familiar with herbs. What looks that? And looks deceive, anyway. Me, I'm not out for common weeds that grow in any meadow. Need rare ingredients. Can you help me out, or should I move on? You must judge for yourself. Well, um, I will have a look at your stock, but um, I also meant no offense. Meant no offense. And I took none. I should be the one to apologize for judging by appearance alone. Tell me, your knowledge, how did you gain it? From an herbalist living nearby? No, from somewhere a long way off. Care Morin, Northern Kedwin. Gods? That's the continent's other end. What are you doing in Tucson? Same thing I do anywhere. <laughs> Killing monsters. Okay, well, um, yeah, let me see what you have. Right, show me what you got. 
probably nothing that I need at the moment. Again, I'm just going to buy a bunch of dye solutions so I can get into some heavy dyeing <laughs> sooner or later. But I probably won't need any of the other stuff at the moment. And yeah, look at all that crap that I picked up. Looting the last vineyard and some ruin that I wandered into. I definitely need to um, clean out my inventory sooner or later. Sadly, I can't actually sell her any stuff. Well, you can get this, I suppose. And yeah, apparently she plays Gwent and she's a bit out of my way. So why not play against her now? Because I'm not sure if I come back here. Let's have a game of Gwent. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Um, Nature's bounty. I'm going to try Nilfgaardian. And I think I'll just keep my deck. Oh, she's playing with Guardian too. Look at that. Um, I don't know. I think I would like to have a spy if I'm playing with Guardian. Um, I mean, I have a decoy, which is nice. I suppose I don't need a single young emissary. I'll take the rest, I suppose. Okay, it's my turn. Um, yeah, sure. Let's play this one too. Well, she's not really playing any spies either. Not so far anyway. And yeah, I suppose I'm going to play my Scorch card already because all my other cards are pretty high as well. So let's just get rid of that one. And yeah, now I'm just going to match that, I suppose. And of course, she is bringing back the one that she just played. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, this match has been surprisingly spyless so far. Usually, when you play Nilf Guardian or against Nilf Guardian, they just love to hit you with a spice, and now she's scorching away all the high cards. Um, interesting. But I can bring them back. Okay, that's a card that lets you see what they have in store, right? I'm going to do the same. Okay. Well, I think the clear weather card is going to be of use to no one because apparently None of us has an actual weather card. But I think I'm I'm doing pretty good here. I may actually... Okay, she's passing anyway. So what I'm going to do is I will um, decoy back my revive card so I can use it in the next round again. And now I'm going to pass. Okay, um... Let me bring back one of my high unit cards. And I'm going to use my decoy to use it again. And yeah, I should I should win this easily now. Well, I can do that as well. Oh, 
And I think she just has a decoy, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's a victory. Did you give me a card as well? Yes! Clan Brockwa Archer. That's a new Skellige card. Very nice. So, I may not want to buy anything from you, but I'm going to loot your store, I suppose. Tales and Fables. Okay, that's the one that I got from um, the guy. I should probably read this if I want to continue this quest, so let's do this. Sir Gareth and Miss Daphne loved each other so much it hurt. To win the approval of his future father-in-law, Gareth had to perform seven challenges. The seventh was the hardest. Gareth had to go to Lynx Crack, find the witch who lives there and convince her to lift the drought that plagued the whole land. Everyone, including Daphne, pleaded with Gareth to humble himself before the witch. You see, the witch from Lynx Crack was spiteful and headstrong even for a witch, and only an act of true humility could break her icy heart. Gareth, however, had no intention of bending his knee before a witch. Instead, he planned to force her to lift the curse. Nobody knows what happened on Lynx Crack, but Gareth never returned to his beloved. Daphne stood on the top of a hill and looked for him day and night. Finally, she turned into a tree so that she may live to see the return of her knight. Such was the strength of her longing and the power of her love. Anyone who plunk plunged her, his axe blade into that tree would see blood run from the wound. Folks started to avoid that place, leaving Daphne in peace to wait for Gareth. In time, we all had forgotten about her. Until now, until now. Okay, um, yeah, I think I'm actually Link's going to continue here. with that Make quest. Um, which is over here. So I will make my way to that place and see if we can, I don't know, find the witch, lift a curse, whatever hey, comes up. And I will probably them. spend a few minutes in this place uh, trying to pick up some loot and see if I can oh. find anything of interest. Oh! Oh look, it's a troll! What's your problem? Why is this troll attacking me? Um, well, apparently this troll um, doesn't like me. And he's very hostile. And I hate killing trolls, but what can I do, Show right? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I actually got another uh, elusive troll liver because of that. And yeah, I think this is actually part of a guarded treasure. Um, I assume this is your breakfast or whatever. I guess I'll take it. I'm not sure if this is worth reading now. I will do this later. But yeah, um, I killed a bunch of wolves over here when I found this hidden treasure. I'm still on my way to that uh, lynx crack so that I can meet the witch. Unky says if I'm bad, not attacking me doesn't mean it's not a threat, though. <laughs> That's interesting. That's the first time I saw a panther that is not attacking. I don't know. What happens if I climb up here? Hmm. How weird. Well, if it's not attacking me, I suppose I will leave it be. And yeah, I think I'm slowly approaching Lynx crack. So I wonder if the friendly panther has something to do with that. Let's see. We have a cave down there apparently. But um, my quest marker points up. So let's continue to climb this place. Okay, let's see if somebody's home. 
Okay. Search the hut using your witch senses. Will do. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. I already see a bunch of stuff. Remarks on the proper administration of Notes yarrow. Use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Yarrow is first and foremost used for medicinal purposes. As mentioned above, when the leaves of this herb are placed against the flesh, they heal all kinds of trauma, wounds and sores. Brewed and the resulting tincture treats the common cold, colic and loss of appetite. Yet in addition to the healing properties, the branches of the yarrow plant can be used for fortune telling. This method of divination might seem strange upon first glance, but is but is in truth simple and effective. It truly allows one to focus on the curie at hand and gain an answer both accurate and satisfying. Okay. Mm. Mm. A wall of spell enhancements or trophies. Um, well, creepy? Arrow, broken in half. No doubt to bring bad luck to the archer. What archer? The knight? Branch of a grapevine. Could be to ensure a good harvest, or a bad one. Okay, what about the doll? Doll looks like an accessory for casting curses. And there's a kerchief. Maybe it's the one um, of the night. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Mm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. That would come in handy. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Ah, so it's your panther, huh? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard-pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Hmm. Well, can you tell me what happened to Sir Gareth, maybe? The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent okay. together. He stayed a fair while. Then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? <laughs> I could not abide it. I see. Well, we can't change that anymore, but maybe we can lift the curse of the tree lady, huh? Can lift the curse myself. Just lift the curse, please. Um, well, the the book that we read mentioned that um, if you show humility um, in front of the witch, this may help. I don't know. Maybe let's be nice for a change and just ask her to lift the curse. What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his witch was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse, but could you help lift it? I probably could, but why ever would I? Yes, right, I'll humble myself. That's what the book said you should do, or what Garrus should have done. Not sure if he did that, I mean, apparently he stayed here for a while. I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the tale did. I beseech you to help me. 
Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. None, not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost, can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life, but I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Hmm. How can I know you won't <laughs> use it to cast a spell yeah. on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't like it, but sure, let's take that chance. I'll trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. I hope I won't regret this. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved Yarn to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Gareth's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Okay, fair enough. And no, I'm outside. There was actually a bunch of other stuff in the hut that I couldn't examine because I'm um, funny, I examined the wrong thing uh, too early. But I mean, what can you do? I hope that I sufficiently solved uh, this problem and I have found a way to lift the curse. This seems to be an ongoing theme in this DLC, by the way, lifting curses. I mean, we had the lady with the spoons. Um, was cursed and now we have this one and I believe there was at least one more um, case of a curse that had to be lifted okay how do I get down here without breaking my neck I think I can probably just slide down here right okay let's have a look inside Oh, brilliant, Kiki Moss. I guess I will be with them first. Oh, let me get some distance here. Careful, careful, my health is not doing so great. That's better. Okay, I think the warrior is dead. But we still have some workers here. Alright. There we go. And I should probably destroy the eggs while I'm here. Also, I think you can actually destroy them with the art too, like that. <laughs> okay, but I am actually looking for the remains of that poor knight. Must be somewhere around here. Oh, well, 
I guess that's him. A knight's plate armor and some bones. Gareth's remains? These them? Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic? Or he just fall from my get back to the tree, lift the curse. Well, the witch said that she had something to do with his death. So it may have been magic, right? Okay, I will return to the tree. And I hope um, I can lift the curse. Alright, we are back here at the tree. So, let's see what we can do here. So, you met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? Well, I don't know if she's as bad as you thought. Um, she may have killed Gareth, but she also offered me my help. Offered me help uh, to cure the curse. That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceresses witchier than her. Joyous bleeding news, but what about Daphne? Um, yes, I think I know how to lift the curse. I can lift the curse, free her. By performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. All right. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, <laughs> run. Let's hope that won't be necessary. Light the southern fire. Okay. Let's do this. Look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. And now the eastern fire. From the east, no cry is heard. And the northern fire? From the north, silent sighs. And... Oh, I actually lit myself on fire. And now the final one. From the west, peer hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Let's see. Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Shall never return. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Well, um, I don't know what to tell her. Somehow I feel I don't need to make her final moments on earth miserable by telling her that he apparently didn't stay faithful, so I suppose I'm going to lie to her, even if I don't feel good about it. Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long, I've suffered too much, and now I wish to go. 
Farewell, milady. I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. But you did good. You did good. Yes, we did what we could. We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Thanks. Take care of yourself. So long, Witcher. I must think. Put this straight in my head. Yes, you do that. Alright. Um, I think we did it. Yes, the quest is finished. Um, not really a happy ending to this curse, but not a really sad one either, because um, we did manage to lift the curse. And yeah, I have been recording for quite some time, Although I will edit a lot of it, um, because I have been clearing out some of these points of interest on my way, like some guarded treasures and bandit camps and whatnot, and that probably doesn't need to be in the episode. So I hope that after um, I'm finished editing, I will have enough for one full episode. And um, yeah, I don't know, I still haven't really... Uh, finished all of this area here so i will probably just continue in the next episode but yeah as usual thank you for watching and see you again next time